Hey guys, Jay and Kaylea here. We are the co-founders and co-owners of Science Division. Uh, we haven't had a chance to see a, a, as many of you in person as we would like to, so this is kind of our hey, opportunity. We are the We're taking, <laughs> you can hear uh, Brian and Liz, our friends in the background, they're gonna help us with the tech and answering any questions. They're gonna read the comments and questions out to us. Uh, we have not done this before, so we are just getting everything set up right now. Um, but what we wanna do is give you an opportunity to see what these triples are and what they do. And then we're gonna talk about who we are, how we started the company, we created them in our living room using internet tutorials. So we'll get into some of that as well. And then as you have questions, you know, throw them at us and we'll give you guys some great answers. So um, Jay, you wanna start us off? Yeah, so we'll, we're just gonna do a little bit of talk through of what our triples are and what they can do. Um, so right now we have two of our working prototypes right here. Um, so these guys are final production line prototypes. Um, right now, they're in the mode at ease. Um, so they're relaxed, they're happy, they're going to always be cooing and uh, you know, be as lifelike as possible. So even when they're not being picked up, they'll still every once in a while give off uh, a coo, let you know that they're still there. Um, but the more you move them, the more you interact with them, the more that they'll interact and uh, uh, respond to you. There's a sweet little vibration motor in here as well, so every time you hear it trill, it's also purring, and you can feel it vibrate. So unfortunately, that's one of the things that we can't show you online, but we can tell you about it. And for those of you who have seen them in person, you know what we're talking about. Uh, they've been really well received, and we've taken them to conventions, and uh, we'll be letting you guys know as we're going to more and more events, so you, hopefully you have a chance to come in and see one for yourself. Yeah. You want to go to um, the next mode? Yeah, so our, the next mode that we have is their on-duty mode. Uh, so this is their uh, de detect Klingons. Um, so every time they get picked up, they'll decide whether it's a friend or foe. Um, so we'll change the mode right here. So uh, our friend here, uh, we've named him Mr. T. Uh, he's now on duty. So every time he gets picked up, he'll decide if it's a Klingon agent or someone maybe a little more friendly to the triple race. So pick him up. <laughs> All right, well, he outed me as someone who might have a little bit of Klingon blood in him. Oh, they always yeah, catch me. Yeah, they always they catch know. you. They know, they um, know. So, let's try this guy again. Oh, he's cranky today. He's cranky today. There we go. All right, so he's a little bit happier I today. I this one. <laughs> um, and then the third mode that they have is their watchdog duty. So, um, I'll, I'll just put this guy in watchdog. He beats three times, so let, or squeaks three times, so let me know that he's now in guard duty. Uh, anytime he gets moved, he will scream uh, like there's a Klingon agent nearby. So I like to put it on my desk at work, on my keyboard. If one of my students tries to use my computer, he'll scream at them like they're a Klingon, and I know someone's messing with my stuff. Uh, so we'll just put these guys back in at ease. They'll squeak once each to let us know what mode they're in. Um, so as you can see, they also have an app as well. Um, so we'll put an image up there on the screen so you can kind of guys have a better idea of what that looks like. Um, but uh, the, the app allows you to change their modes uh, so you can put them in at ease on duty or their watchdog mode. And then there's also, um, as you can see up there on the screen, there's an attack button as well. Uh, so you can, anytime you can always trigger it directly from the app and set them off on your friends and family and coworkers. I did it the other day with my boss. It was great fun. Yeah, and so all of the artwork in the app is artwork that we have done. We've been really fortunate to be able to put a lot of ourselves into this project. Um, and again, this is kind of a demonstration of how that attack button works. Um, so if you go ahead and pull that image off, then if I hit the attack button, you can see this guy is screaming. Um, there are a few other things that the app does. It allows you to change the volume of the Tribbles cooing, so you can have it nice and quiet when you're at home and in your living room and watching Star Trek, or you can have it be louder if you are in a louder environment. Um, you can name your Tribble in the app, all kinds of stuff like that. You don't have to have the app to play with it. These guys have a mode button on the electronic box that's inside there. It looks something like this. Um, and you can just press the mode button and that will change the app, or the mode of the Tribble as well without the app. So you can play with or without your phone in that. Yeah, we wanted to make it really simple and easy, so even if you don't want to pull out your phone to play with your triple, you don't have to. Uh, it just adds some features, um, but your day-to-day -day use you can do with or without the app. So um, I guess we should tell you guys a little bit about 
Us. Um, Jay, do you have Snowball? Over yeah, there? I do have Snowball. Alright, so this is the very first Tribble. I made Snowball when I was probably about six years old. She's made from some leftover faux fur from a bunny costume. I grew up on Star Trek. My dad had every episode on a VHS tape. We would pull them out and watch them. Um, we actually had a recreation of the Enterprise Bridge in our backyard that went into a playhouse and aliens could come in through a trap door and chase us around. And uh, so that was just, there was no hope for me. I was always going to be a Star Trek fan. But um, as is kind of customary, we were started off with the Trouble of Tribbles. And I wanted one as a pet from that very moment. And at the time, you couldn't just go on the internet and order one. Um, so I waited and waited and, you know, 20 some years later, there still wasn't one out there that felt like it was really truly alive. So we decided to go ahead and try to build one. So you want to talk a little bit about that process? Um, yeah, before we go any further, are there any questions? All right. Um, so uh, just so you know, we do have a discount code here. Uh, if you order during uh, our live stream, you can get $10 off using uh, FB Live, all capitalized letters and um, we can also give you guys a shout out if you uh, order during our live stream we'll, we'll give you a little um, shout out for that. We also have these great little pixel art triple pins. Brian's going to go ahead and put one in front of the camera there so you can see it. We'll send you one of those with your triples as well if you want to place an order while we're streaming. So um, we're going to talk about building a triple. Yeah so um, technology you know speeds along at an alarming pace. Um, and there's a lot of great resources for people who are um, uh, want to make their own things. There, there's a whole maker community out there. There's a few different options. Um, we went with uh, an Arduino. Um, so it's an open source uh, computer chip that you can uh, learn how to program and make all sorts of different functionality with it. Um, so we started knowing absolutely nothing. Uh, we started from the ground up and uh, we learned through tutorials online about how to different, get different components working together. Um, so we actually have our initial prototype uh, here with us today. So um, we made this guy in our living room. Um, there's a bunch of different components that we kind of figured out how to um, put together. So there's a Bluetooth module in there to connect to the phone. There's a SD card reader for all the sound chips. There are two different vibration motors in that one uh, to get the vibration and the feeling for the attack as well as the just the coos. You pulled those um, out of a PlayStation. Computer. Yeah, we just kind of, we couldn't find one online. So uh, I had an old uh, PlayStation controller that wasn't working. So we harvested parts from that. <laughs> um, you taught yourself all the coding. I did, yeah. Um, I learned how to solder it all together and, and get it to fit all on in a, a neat little box. Originally it was um, a four by four card table. Uh, in our living room, there was wires running everywhere. We had to climb over it to get to the couch for about a month and a half. Yep, yep. Uh, and then we eventually got a prototype that um, had the first two modes on it, and the functionality worked really well. And um, we, we had a, our first working triple. Yeah, uh, I used MIT App Builder. They have a kind of module-based program for building an app. So I built the first app that way. It wasn't pretty. It was a single page, but it worked. Um, and so we presented it to the director of licensing for CBS, uh, and actually, I think we have we want prototype here. This is our very first one, so this is completely hand sewn from fabric that we found at the fabric store. It's not super soft, but it kind of it got the idea across. And so this had you know the box here fits into this. We took this to the director of licensing from CBS, and she was like, "This is great. Let's go ahead and do it. What do you need from us?" So we got our license in February. And since then, we've been working, uh, going through the prototyping process with our manufacturer. And um, this is now the triple that you see before you. So I guess we can show you guys a few of uh, our prototypes from our manufacturer. So we went from this one that we built to this is what came over from our manufacturer when they were working on it. So this just has all of the components kind of glued on top of this box um, so that we would get a code and load it onto there and play with it and test it and test it with the app that our app developer was making and see how things worked and go, okay, this doesn't work well or we want to add this feature. And then they would work on the code and send it to us. We'd put the new code on there. So this is referred to as a target board. And so we spent a couple of months going back and forth with the app developer and the manufacturer getting everything to work well together. Um, so then this is one where you can see the actual vibration motor that's inside. This is a little bit further along in the process. And now it all fits neatly into 
this little box that's here, this electronics box. Um, so these guys take three AA batteries and they last forever. We have yet to be able to get one so to run out. So when we got our initial prototypes, uh, so we launched right before Star Trek Las Vegas about a month ago. We got our initial three prototypes to bring to the convention a few days before that. Uh, we put fresh batteries in for Star Trek Las Vegas. Um, they had about a week of very solid use, all, um, 9 to 5, all day long. I figured about 60 um, hours. Probably. And then I just went to Trek Conderoga, uh, and same batteries, they're still going. Um, so right now we can't give an estimate of how many uh, hours you get out of a set of batteries. Um, they're also the rechargeable double A's, which generally usually don't have nearly as much of a lifespan. But they're still going, so we're very proud of that. Um, we have some estimates from our manufacturer about how long they go for. Um, and they're still going, so... Um, <laughs> We're actually hoping eventually one of them will run out, so we have an idea of like how long do you actually get from a triple. Um, we can tell you that when the batteries do get low, they'll give you a three quick squeaks to let you know, hey, it's time to replace the batteries, so you'll know when that's going to happen. Um, one of the functionalities that they have is if you leave them in at ease and you forget to turn them off after an hour of not playing with your triple, it will go to sleep. So it's not running through the batteries, running through the batteries, and then if you pick it up, it'll wake back up and be right back to being your little trouble friend. So, um, yeah, we are actually in our pre-sale period right now. So we are pre-selling them for $69.99 on our website. Again, if you can order today during our stream while we're here, we have our Facebook code. So it's uh, FB Live, all capital, and we'll give you that $10 off plus the uh, pin will ship out with your triple when you order it. And then we also have some just pre-sale incentives that we're offering to people just as a thank you for, you know, believing in us, helping us get started. So the first of those is an adoption registration certificate. So when you get your triple, you're going to get a hand-signed, hand-serialized adoption certificate that shows that you believed in us, you know, from the very beginning. It's going to say, I got triple 1,500 or whatever triple number you got, that's going to be on your adoption certificate. You're, you're going to be the only person who has that certificate. So we have a huge stack of these sitting in our living room right now that we'll be signing and numbering. Um, we didn't realize how many uh, a box of, of certificates looked like and we got it and we're kind of in shock about how large, long that's going to take. So we'll be watching some Star Trek and doing some signatures. Um, we also, in the app, there's going to be a page um, that lists the contributors uh, if you uh, would like. When you pre-order, there's a place where you can put in your name, uh, and then if you want to put up the uh, picture of the app again, um, we have a, a page there where you will be able to, uh, it's going to list all the names of anyone who wanted to opt in for that. Um, and it will always be in the app, and it will be there as kind of a, a thank you for helping us uh, during an early period as well. So we're working to get that order placed now. Uh, we're very close. We only need to solve probably a couple hundred more triples, and we'll be able to place that order with our manufacturer. Our current estimate is that they'll be beaming into houses in early 2020. Um, if you need it for a holiday, Christmas, you put it in the comments, and we're going to do a special holiday card that we send out, and we'll also send out the birth certificate to you ahead of that holiday so that you have those things that you can give to whoever's getting it. They'll know that it's coming. It's going to say something like, your triple's still growing in the lab. We're feeding it to optimal size. Once you get your triple, you don't have to feed it anymore. It's just the batteries that have to go in every once in a while. Yep, three um, AA batteries. Yeah, and uh, these guys don't reproduce, so it's a safe triple to have in your home. Um, of course, you can't have too many triples, but you know, if you want to be in control of how many of them you do have, this is a great way to go. Yeah, absolutely. We also have uh, a few postcards that we have created. Uh, we made these originally for Star Trek Las Vegas, so they're kind of Las Vegas themed. There are got, gotten to triple in Vegas postcards. So we're also sending out sets of these uh, with pre-order triples. Um, so you can see we have our kind of wedding triples. Um, this is our showgirl triple, our magician. And then, of course, there's an Elvis. So those are going to ship out with them as well. Um, if you want more uh, Tribble cosplay um, on our Instagram page, we're also um, doing some fun things with uh, different Tribbles in Trouble. Um, so we have uh, some Tribbles fighting a Gorn. Uh, we have some Tribbles that wanted to dress up as Klingon agents. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the all very popular uh, pond fur. Um, so we have some 
some uh, Tribbles fighting like Kirk and Spock with some uh, miniature Lurpas. Uh, Let's see, I think off. we have a couple of those weapons yep. out here. I think it's in the um, blue, blue suitcase. Um, so, if you'd like to follow us there, we're doing uh, all sorts of fun things with, with that. Um, if you have some suggestions about uh, uh, different scenes you might want to see our Tribbles in, um, feel free to uh, get in touch with us as well. Um, we have some more ideas, but more is always welcome. So. Yeah. And we're hoping, you know, once they start shipping out, that you guys might start showing us some of the ways you dress your Tribbles up. Because Tribbles in trouble love to get into trouble all over the place. So, we'd love to see what you guys come up with as well. Yeah. Well, I think that's kind of what we've got going on. If you check out our YouTube page, you can see some of these great uh, GIF images and videos that we've got going on. They're going to demo the different modes, uh, so you can kind of check out and see if, if you don't remember kind of what we talked about. It's a refresher on what every mode is, what they do. That kind of thing and they're kind of fun to watch there's also a really fantastic demo video both on our website and on our youtube um our, we're science division on youtube as well and it, it shows you again goes kind of through what the triples do but uh, admiral dunzel walks you through it so my dad is admiral dunzel and uh we actually filmed it in a closet we put a bunch of blankets up and made it soundproof and he built this beautiful backdrop there for us to use for filming and so we've got him dressed up as an admiral telling you what the Tribbles do. Uh, it's far more entertaining than just watching us. He did a yeah. really great job. Um, he also built us this fantastic view screen. So um, we would take this around to all of our conventions. So if you ever have the chance to check us out at a convention, again, we'll post where we're going and when. Then we'll stop by even if it's just to see this because it really is a marvel. We've gotten uh, almost as many uh, compliments on this as, as our Tribbles itself. <laughs> yeah, so. it's, it's a pretty popular piece. Yeah, he did a really, really fantastic job with it. Yeah, so um, our website is sciencediv.com, science, D-I-V. You can go there. Again, you can see all of our videos. We'll probably post this there. We're definitely going to post this on YouTube when we're done. Uh, and then from there, you can place your pre-order for a triple and uh, so the birth certificate and your name in the app and the set of postcards. Those are all kind of ongoing pre-sale incentives that will continue probably soon the end of the holidays. Um, yeah. But, but uh, there is only going to be a limited number of these that we get in from our manufacturers, so we suggest going ahead and getting your order placed now just to make sure that you're going to get one, you'll get a lower serial number on your adoption certificate, and also just our gratitude for you know supporting us early on as we get this company up and running. So. Yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out either on our Facebook page here, uh, through Twitter, through Instagram. We have uh, our email is listed on the website as well, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, reach out and we'll be happy to um, talk to you guys. It's been really great to meet the Star Trek community and we're, we're thrilled to now be a part of it. Yeah, and we will um, post links to all of the social media pages when we post this video to our Facebook and our website. Yeah. So, thanks guys! Yeah. Have a happy Labor Day weekend! <laughs>